Hello everybody, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to use MQTT protocol which plays an important role in the Internet of Things and we will use UFLOW to program and realize an application of multiple device messaging. What is MQTT? It is short for Message Curing Telemetry Transport. MQTT is a lightweight based on published subscribe messaging protocol. It is established upon TCP IP protocol, published by IBM at 1999. The MQTT protocol is a good choice for wireless network that experience varying levels of latency due to occasional bandwidth constraints or unreliable connections. And the lightweight feature allows it being able to run in a resource constraint embedded devices or processors. In order to get MQTT service, we need MQTT broker. We have many MQTT broker available. I am going to use Cloud MQTT as my broker, or we can call it server. Firstly, create Cloud MQTT account and log in. Click Create New Instance, type in name, and click Select Region. After choose the data center, click Review, and click Create Instance. Now we can see the server instance we just created. Inside, we will get access to the config info, such as server address, username, password, port number. These will be used in our code later. Open up UFLOW. We can get MQTT functional block inside Advanced. The first one is the MQTT related blocks. Let's drag it out and put it underneath setup, filling the server information here. There are two things you need to remember. One, the ID in here have to be different with this config information below. In the same server, online device is not permitted to share the same ID. Two, MQTT program can only be able to execute after download. Underneath MQTT configure block, add a start block so that the device is capable of connecting with the server. Add a label to display hello and 5 If the device is connected with the server, it will display hello and 5 Now, uh, MQTT client is ready. Next, we're going to program it to publish some message. It is also able to subscribe the topic from itself or from other device. For example, we can have this M5 to collect environment temperature and display the data at another device. So we're going to add an ENV unit. Inside the loop, use publish block to publish the temperature data on the topic named temperature. Delay for one second and publish every minute. At this UFLOW page, create another client device in the same way. Make sure the client ID is different. Here we use subscribe block to subscribe the topic temperature and display the message we got from this topic. Finally, we can download the code separately to two different devices.